Hello everybody, I am Jenny the Artsy Rose and welcome back to the His Girl Friday with Shiroya and Yayui. I'm sorry for not having come back here sooner. Let me make up for that. Chapter 2! Uh, are you? Oh, why is a Yamino here? My presence seems to have surprised Ayu. I've heard that you paired it with Kikyo for Jack of All Trades shop. If I'm not mistaken, you came up at the Autumn Village Chieftain's Mansion. Yeah, I've come to get my stuff today. Is that so? How are things going for you? Ayu takes a moment to ponder my question. Smoothly, I guess. It's a bit hectic, though. What kind of jobs are you doing? We're modeling and the like. Modeling? They must be getting strange requests as well. Ayu and Kiki are both slender and have, strong and have solid builds. I bet they would look good in anything. Ayamina, what about you? You know, you know, Yayui, I've had this for a while now, but you get too close to Ayamina for, my li for any little thing. What? Are you jealous? Huh? Why should I be jealous? But I have the better relationship with Ayamina. Ayamina, you have it rough. Ayu mutters as he absently watches Shiroya and Yayui continue with their argument. I feel, a, I feel a bit of sympathy in his voice. I can only return him with a strained smile. They're kind of similar. You think they've been like this? They've been like this way the whole time. Kato and Ayu fight a lot as well, but their fundamental qualities are different. Whereas Shiroya and Yayui share similar personalities. Even if it's hard for them to get along, they should at least try learning how to work together. I have to provide the motivation to better understand each other. Let me see. If there's anything... Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. Ayu, thanks. You're welcome. I'll go now. Ayu lightly waves at me and walks over to Yayui and Shiroya. He's about to greet them before returning to the Autumn Village. I use encouragement. I must do what I can, too. Once the morning meeting is over, I head outside. Where is Yayui? I'm looking for Yayui because I confirmed something with him during the meeting. Ayamina, are you looking for me? He pokes his head out the window and speaks to me. Yayui, I wanted to confirm something with you about yesterday's job, job request. Anyway, how did you know that I was looking for you? I don't know. I just thought that it'd be nice if it were. I think I wanted to see you. You wanted to see me? We just saw each other at the meeting this morning. Ayamina, I can never get enough of you, so what is it you wanted to confirm? I then explained to Yayui about the mistake I made in the report job he filed yesterday. Sorry, I'll get it fixed. Yayui says and waves before heading back into the shop. Being told something like that out of the blue makes my heart race. I place my hand over my chest and take a deep breath to calm myself. Oh no! It's Lord Shiroya! Shrill, a shrill voice suddenly pierces the air. Could that be? When I look in the direction of the voice, a group of women gathered at the gate like yesterday. Everyone is waving. Everyone is looking and waving at Shiroya as they squeal with joy. Lord Shiroya, you are so cute! Thank you, you're cute as well. Lord Shiroya, look over here! W wow! I'm dumbfounded by the scene playing out in front of my eyes. I recall the word fan that they mentioned yesterday. The word fits perfectly for these girls. Just then, one of the girls standing in front of Shiroya timidly looks up at him. Are you today's client? Y yes. I hope we care. I'm sure we will. Shall we go then? Oh.
Shiraya puts his arms around the client's shoulder in an experienced gesture. Color clouds the girl's cheek, and shrill shouts come from every direction. They walk off somewhere together with her around his arm, with his arm around her. Today's request was to go on a date? When I stare at the backs of the two, when I stare at the backs of the two, Yaiwi walks up. This place is always noisy. I hear the voices echo inside of the shop. What's wrong, Ayamina? Do you guys have to go that far? Well, they're on a date. It's like nothing. We have to treat our clients as girlfriends to make them satisfied. Isn't this kind of a form of prostitution? They're basically doing a host club. I don't forget that I can't forget the image of Shireya next to that woman. I understand that it was a request. What are they getting out of it though? Prostitution involves Basically, you court with someone and they provide you with someone. I mean, they provide you with something. Either it be money, clothes, maybe a meal. Hmm. Why is, why is my heart feeling this way? Ayamina. I look up at Yayui when he pat me on the head. Why don't we take this opportunity and go on a date with me? Why don't you take this... Wait, wait, let me reread that. Why don't we take this opportunity and go on a date with me? A date? What about your job? I don't have any requests today, so it's so it's fine, right? Yeah, he wraps his arms around my waist and we walk toward the gate. I haven't given him my answer yet. Yeah, he is kind, but he can be occasionally. But he never does anything I don't like. He might have realized my confusion. That may be why he went out of his way to ask me on a date. His indirect kindness warms up my heart. I thank him in my heart and take advantage of his kindness. When we exit from the gate, girls surround us with shrill, with shrill cheers. Lord Yayui, good morning! Morning. Lord Yayui, you look splendid today! I know. The eyes of the girls twinkle. They heave a sigh of pleasure every time Yayui speaks. Yayui is amazing in his own right. I'm exasperated by the scene playing out before me. <sighs> Lord Yayui, who is the person beside you? Someone stiffly addresses me. One of the girls stares up and glares at me. This is Ayamina. She will be helping out at our shop starting today. That's Lady Ayami now? Our noisy surroundings turn completely silent. Our noisy surroundings turn completely silent. I then hear- I then- so, Does this look bad? You may be the Princess of Tsuki, but don't you think you're taking advantage of the situation here? Well, what do you mean? As you can see for yourself, there are many women here who are interested in Lord Yayui and Lord Shiroya. And yet you dare to use your position to get close to them? That's right, we're all waiting our turn and properly making job requests to spend time with them. The women's dissatisfied, dissatisfied voice spread. Everyone, please listen! I raise my voice before it's too However, Yayui silences me with his end of the Yayui? Yayui smiles at me when I look up at him. I'm captivated by his gentle smile that tells me to relax. How long do you think you can cling to Lord Yayui? Do not dare to touch her. Do not dare to touch her. Yayui smacks away the hand of the girl who tries to yank on my arm. He pulls me close to wrap me up in his protective arms. There's nothing unfair about this. Ayamino is an important person to me. Rather you're a client or not, I won't go easy on you if you ever harm her. Lord Yayui! The women are staring at Yayui with befundled expressions. Let's go, Ayamino. Yayui walks off without looking at them. I hope I have enough. Please let me have enough. Yay! <laughs> Maybe I might get an ending today. Maybe. I hope. Hey, I've procrastinated on getting back on this game. I should might as well get an ending for you guys. Hopefully I can be Yayui. Hopefully. Yayui. Was it okay for you to say something like that? 
I'm happy that he protected me. But I'm also aware of the fact that they were important clients of theirs. What if they start com- what if they stop coming? I'm okay with that. This jack of all trades job is merely a part of our training. Our real job lies elsewhere. Shiro would understand if we explain. I'm more worried against you because of that. I did sense their ill will towards me as soon as they saw me yesterday, but I would never expect them to attack me like that. It wasn't my intention to use my position in the first place. It's okay, I'm certain they would understand us if we explain things clearly. There's no guarantee. What if something serious happens? We have to we have to be prepared to handle and come. Yeah, we pondered the situation seriously. We have known each other ever since we were young, and Yayui has been treating me like his real sister. And I look up to Yayui like my elder brother. Yayui, how overprotective do you have to be? It's only natural. To me, you are... A troublesome younger sister? Who knows? What? I don't know how to respond. What's, what's wrong? Th nothing. It's okay. Don't let them get to I'll do something about it. Sorry that you need As an apology, I'll do anything you desire. Y you don't have to! But I want to. It can be anything. Just ask away. Uh, um... Ayamina, is this really okay with you? Yes! I requested him to invite me over to his house. That's what I asked of Yayui. I wish I could take you to someplace better. I wish I could take you to someplace better. More than enough. You're the one that told me to ask anything. Time to wander around his room. The neutral colors and f the neutral colors and furniture is in his room match perfectly. How expensive that so how expensive that sake over there looks, and the shelf is full of pedantic books. Pedantic books. Pedantic books. There are interesting things all over the room that I'm engrossed in looking at everything. A porn book. Oh. And look over here. Ayamina? Yes? I come to my senses when he places his hand on my shoulder. You're more than welcome to rummage through my room. But how about we eat something first? On the table is a light meal with a glass of sake. Yayui, did you prepare all this? Yes. While you were engrossed in my books. I glanced at the clock and realized that 30 minutes had already passed since I got here. I I'm sorry, I'm the one who wanted to come over. I don't mind, I'm glad that you got to relax in my room. Well, join me if you like. You mean, for a drink? Yeah, you're an adult. A little bit of sake shouldn't do you. A little bit of sake should do you. Yeah, you even hands me a glass of sake. I swear, I won't do anything to you. Y Yayui, I'm not worried about that. I, I guess I'll take you up on your offer. I sit next to Yayui and take a sip. How is it? It's delicious. It suits my taste and goes down easy. Good. Eat this too. I got your favorite. Thank you very much. No! Why do these things have to happen? Okay, now the screen's freezing. No, <laughs> freezing. Like my hand! The screen is freezing like my hand! <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back.